Sweden and India have a relation that go far back. But more and more, there are a few pillars that our relation is based on. One is sustainability, one is green transition, and the third one is innovation. And, you know, they all really belong together because we need innovation uh, to enable us to find the sustainable solutions. And India and Sweden are seeing very much eye to eye when it comes to this. We need to create more energy efficiency. We need to be able to produce things differently, less waste, less emissions. And Sweden has technology, Sweden has innovations, and so does India. So in this marriage between the two countries, between the innovation communities of India and Sweden, we find really a strength, and that is what we are aiming for towards the future. Actually, there are many areas. Um, I just came back from Bangalore the other day, and I was uh, there with a space delegation. We had the first space industry days. Swedish companies, 11 of them. Uh, we had meetings with ISRO. We met with many Indian companies to see how we can collaborate with India. We were so impressed by the achievements, the Chandrayaan-3 mission, and also Chandrayaan-4 that is coming, and the Venus mission. And we feel, as Sweden is one of the few countries in the world, and the only country in the EU who has a launching capability, we have a launching range in northern Sweden, we feel that we have something to offer to India. We also have, uh, in two days, I'm going to um, Hyderabad with a delegation of uh, life science companies. Sweden is also leading when it comes to life science. We have a lot of corporations. I think many people know the Medicover hospitals, for example, or, or um, AstraZeneca or other companies. So I'm going for that. So that's another example of where we are trying to establish stronger and closer relationships with India. We discussed, uh, when I was in Bangalore, we discussed the Venus mission. And first of all, it's fascinating what India is doing. And India is achieving so much that other countries who spend much more, much more budget cannot achieve. And this really proves the talent of Indian scientists and Indian, Indian institutions. Um, we believe strongly in the Venus mission. Uh, there is actually a collaboration between Sweden and India when it comes to some part of the Venus mission, uh, a technical, uh, I mean, instruments for the Venus mission. So we are very much uh, uh, interested, very much uh, uh, involved, and we hope to uh, to see this mission succeed just as the Chandrayaan, uh, the four Chandrayaan missions. Now, the, the, uh, the great Mahatma Gandhi said that uh, the future depends on what we do in the present. So uh, if we want to have a good and sustainable future, we need to act now. We have to act sustainably. We need to find uh, the climate action that is needed. We cannot wait for the future to come. We must shape it. And what Sweden wants to do together with India, uh, and we do it day to day, month by month, year by year, is actually to build that future together.